What's up, guys? Today I'm bringing you a German Tut. Um, Germany is definitely one of the harder sieves to play as they start with settler wagons, so it's a little hard to manage the economy early game. But uh, over, overall, they're a very fun and um, well rounded sieve to play. So, um, this will be split up into two uh, sections. First, uh, the deck um, and cards, and then the second one, I'll break some gameplay with commentary. So, uh, make sure you stay tuned for both of those. Um, Alright, so let's start with the deck here. Um, I, don't, I don't ever play water with Germany, so I have no water decks. These are just land decks. Um, usually I perform 1v1's tower rush with Germany. I, I tower rush. Um, it's very effective. It's, um, you'll see that in the second part of this video. But uh, you can either tower rush or you can cav. This is for team games or if you want a cav start then switch into expo or whatever. So let's start with the tower rush deck. Um, your first card and always will be is two settler wagons, nothing less um, or anything else. Always two settler wagons. Uh, your second card is nine crossbowmen, and the two Alans really makes this tire rush so effective. The amount of troops it gives you is just too good. Um, that's your second card, always and never will be anything else. So your third card is up to you. You can either send 700 wood to add a dual racks and pump out some men if you're being pressured and your rush fails. Or you can go three settler wagons if your rush is going good and you want to add to that economy, versing another booming sieve. Or you could do some military cards. Um, usually that would be five uh, alans for me, but it just depends. Um, so you're gonna have, you're gonna want all these cards: two settler wagons, three settler wagons is necessary. Seven hundred wood is a must. Seven hundred gold is up to you. That's just, I send that if I want to age. You know, it helps. Um, three dops. I, I prefer you have that because if they send cav at you, three dops will kill all them fuckers. So, and then here you're probably wondering why do you have a Native American treaty? Well, my answer is when I'm doing crossbow, instead of switching to Olan, I can build a Native post and make um, the the calf from there, and I can get bison. So it's a win-win. And you send that, you get a bunch of calf. So there you go. Um, age three deck, a thousand wood is a must. Um, three three uh, war wagons is a must, forts a must, black riders optionals, and all these cards are optionals. Um, it's just whatever works best for you. And then your your fourth age, um, two heavy cannon, two factories. That that's what I like. Always have your two factories. You can switch it out to add more age two or three cards. But this is very standard for a tire rush. And so far it's worked great. Um, as you can see by my my rank, it you know you need. Uh, to focus when you're playing and all those cards really come together and give you that win. Um, for for the cav deck, um, two settler wagons always will be the first card. Second card will always be three settler wagons and then your fourth card will be 700 wood always and then after that it's up to you. Usually that's when I said um, either hit points, five cav or three settler wagons. Um, I wait to send uh, 700 gold or fast cav card until you know, later on game. Um, age three is standard. It's just like the other one. Other one here is you can see I have a little few cards difference. Uh, I have eight skirms and I have more cav here and I have cav hit points. Cause typically I'd be doing cav, so I'd switch to war wagons and veteran ulans, and it's very good. Um, Fort recommend you have it. Um, nine black riders optional. They're just the best mercenaries to me. Um, age four, two factories, two heavy cannons. Like I said, you switch two cannons out for whatever. So uh, those those are the two decks: um, Tower Rush and then uh, Cav um, Alans in this situation. So that's that. Um, now I'm gonna move on to the the um, the gameplay. All right, guys. So um, here we are matchmaking. ESO is totally dead. And, like I this took me like an hour to find the game for you guys. So I got one. So I'm taking the I'm taking it, man. <laughs> so the matchup here is on Yukon. I'm playing a major. He's playing French. Um, I I personally love tie rushing against French and British players, um, as it's just it's it's so fun because it lasts long and it's yeah. just like awesome. So what you're gonna do is send two villagers to your first food crate, one villager to the hunt, always. Um, get the first villager out as fast as you can, then select the settler wagon and put him on food. So you have two food, one crate. Um, explore around your base first, um, then go out and search for the OP treasures. <laughs> um, don't collect the gold, you don't need that. Only collect it if your market's starting, which I don't do till a later game. So, um, leave the gold, get all the treasures around your base. 
then start exploring a little further out. Um, with Germany, you can do a 17 villager age, which is basically 5 settler wagons and 7 villagers. Um, settler wagons count as 2 villagers like I previously stated. They work as if they are 2 villagers um, independently. Um, so here's my tower rush deck, as I have shown you guys. Um, so go all to hunt after you collect your crates. Here I find a good wood treasure so I crack shot and then melee the bear instead of hit and running because I was lost. Those bears are like 600 health, it's freaking ridiculous. But um, I can take it. <laughs> so, I get my treasure. Um, I didn't really start off with too good of a hunts. Um, usually that's a bummer, but um, you know, I, I make do with what I got. Plus, when you're tie rushing, you're, you're pressuring them so you have map control and you don't really need to worry too much about hunts. You always heard your first hunt. Here, I check his deck. Um, he has a low home city, he's trying to lame, but you know, I'm too good to get lamed, so. Um, and by his, his deck, I can tell, um, I thought he was gonna go native, so. I was debating what, what to, um, to do if I should, uh, um, you know, tower rush him or sit back and dual racks expo defense. Um, but whatever. First car, two settler wagons, always, um, starting to explore a little better here. I find my hunt way down there. Um, so I go and hunt that real quick. Um, switch some villagers up here so they don't all um, become inactive when that's done. Uh, when they want a few, so I don't have to waste so much time. Um, still exploring. Um, this is kind of the boring part in every game here. <laughs> but it's, it's one of the most important, so... Um, keep villagers on food, keep villager production. Um, don't ever pop cap yourself, always build a house after the first villager spawn or whatnot. Um, keep herding them as close to your town center as possible, it's very important as you don't want to get raided. And I find a lot of coin treasures here, so that's good. Um, I, I, sh I always shoot at the scouts whenever I see them, you know, just to do damage in case I can melee them at one point and kill them. I mean, if they come by a town center, garrison all your villagers, yeah. and it should be able to two hit, uh, two hit the scout and kill it. So that's very good. You don't want them scouting what you're doing if you're calf starting or whatever. So that they're there. Um, here I'm exploring. So I want to find exactly where his base is. Age with 400 wood, always, never anything else. Um, very important. And I'm chopping for. A, uh, I'm actually yeah. gathering food. Until I get another hundred for my uh, market upgrade. Um, hmm. Okay, yeah. So here I collect the gold. Um, I need that solid exchange it for wood. Um, build the market. Pretty much put all your villagers on wood. You can leave a few villagers, not set the wagons, villagers on food if you want. But I just want to get all my wood as fast as I can. Alright, then send your settler wagon up there to, the, to build this tower. And you're going to want to put that as close as you can to herds or his villagers or you know whatever you're supposed to be pressuring him so keep him off resources and uh, whatnot. Um, yeah so send that villager up, get your market upgrades, gang saw and hunting dogs um, those are a must and here I, pr I put it here I figure this is the best spot um, next time I would have put it more to the right where that hunt is but you know no one's perfect. And here you can put all your villagers, not settler wagons, all your villagers on food, then one settler wagon on food, because you need to get a good boost in food, and that's essentially ten villagers on food. Um, no, that's nine villagers. Uh, did a little bad math there. So, um, leave your settler wagons on wood, one goes on food. You want to stack up on food as you have all this wood coming in from shipments and uh, your age. So, okay, this is very important what I do here. Um, you want to get um, a villager in queue always first, and then ship your night expo from your tower. Then build your barracks in that order. Villager, ship bow, build racks. Um, set the shipment point from here. And you want to basically pressure his hunts and keep them off resources. This is where the tower rush comes in handy. Uh, build a house when you collect your wood. Uh, I do here very shortly. Um, right when the barracks done, put an expo in queue, set that settler wagon to wood, and here build a house, or two. Um, when you're done collecting yeah. the wood, put them back to wood. All new villagers go on wood. Very important you do that. Keeps constant flow of expo. Once your nine uh, crossbow come out, go and pressure him. 
Um, you'll always have the military advantage, um, always. So here I go for a villager, and I should have uh, moved up more. I could probably killed it, but I didn't. Um, use a cavalry wisely. They come in. They come very handy. Um, they come in very handy later game um, and early game actually. So just keep them alive. Um, I see a stable, so I put some pike in. And here I see some villagers up there, so I go for the villagers. Um, always put some pike in, no matter what, just to make sure. Just, you don't want to get messed up by three hussar ship and our cab is making. Here I kill a villager. Um, very good, very good. This is looking, looking in my favor. Um, keep villagers in queue. Um, that, you need to keep that economy up. Um, you need to keep villagers because you need that economy. And here I had a simple micro. Um, basically, I'm gonna hit and run his cow first, and then his min max have no health. And, uh, he pulls back, so I pull back as well. Um, here's this where I said in the deck construction, I usually send five cav as my military card instead of three dots, and I do here. Um, I keep up Pike because I thought he was going heavy on cav, so. Um, I'm looking. I'm looking around at the hunt, seeing if he's hurting anywhere. Put an X bone queue. Um, keep up crossbow production. Um, make sure you keep your herds um, close to your town center. I don't really do that because I don't really have that good of herds. But uh, no need to put outposts because I have the um, the advantage over the map. Um, keep bow production. And I, I'm about to push here because I know I have the advantage and I have more pike than the cav he has. So there's no way he can mass cav that quickly. Um, and here I put, you want to put some villagers onto food now because you have a little heavy on wood. You do not need that. Here I see a bunch of villagers so I go and shoot them. Um, so he's running away and I decide to go for villagers. Um, I do a decent job in getting them. I kill uh, one. But um... I didn't do too good there. Um, keep villager. And now it's just a little micro in his army. Um, I, I use my pikes to kill his calf, crossbow shoot the calf, and my calf to hit his muskets so they're busy and can't shoot my pike. Um, I pull back now, I'm um, in a few here, as I don't have the advantage anymore. But, um, so, okay, so keep villagers. Um, I cancel a bow for a bill. Um, okay. So I have an extra shipment. Here it's, you can do pretty much anything. You can go 700 wood or 3 vills. Um, here I see some builders, so I shoot them and I run. Um, as I probably couldn't win that battle. Oh, uh, so. Excuse me. Um, here I ship the 3 settler wagons. I need to get that economy rolling a little, a little more. Um, keep going. Keep sending your new villagers to wood. Um, make sure you balance out your economy, you need to go um, a little more heavy on food, not too heavy. Um, and with your crossbow, you're basically hit and running his army, that's that's what makes crossbow so good, you can hit and run. Um, and I have the advantage here, so I move up and I push, killing his crossbow first, um, as they have better range, and that's what can pick me off. Um, and so, three uh, villagers are coming in. Uh, you get two cav with them, so make sure you put good use to those. Um, I pull back now because he has obviously the army advantage. Um, as you can see, my economy is starting to, to roll. Okay, so here I use my pike for the cav. He ran straight into my pike. New, new mistake. I use my crossbow to always shoot to shoot the cav. Always shoot him first, um, as those could what those are what tear you up basically. Um, keep. Uh, Military in queue. That's very important. Um, still, just, just basic, basic micro. You sure all know how to micro. Um, it's, not, it's not difficult. Um, still, no outpost. I have map control. No need to worry. Um, keeping up bow. I'm going to be adding a Thorax here because I'm thinking about shipping 700 wood next. Because I know I have um, the economy advantage. So. Um, instead of that, I, I ship three dops, and reasons being is I want to push, and I know he's going um, a little bit heavier on cav, and so I don't want to make pike. And here I see villagers, so I go and attack. Um, I've pressured him enough, so he can't go on those hunts, so he's trying to find hunts. And here, um, I go for the villager, and I see his army, and I hit and run him. 
um, killing as much as I can. Uh, so here I have the army advantage to push. Um, make sure you set the waypoint to your outpost, the dops come from there. I thought I did, I'll, I forgot, new mistake. Add your dual racks, um, you'll have that, you'll have that economy now. That's just too good, it's literally, I love that about Germany, is your economy just gets rolling and you're, you're good. Um, send your three dots to Alans, to your army, that's so good how they give you that mini. That, like, they give you so many men with your shipments, it's just so good, I love Germany. Um, anyways, enough with the loving. <laughs> keep villagers in queue. Send them a wood. Um, keep pressuring their hunts or tree gathering or mine gathering. Or if you see an army, pop a few. Um, here I kill one. Uh, no, I don't. I lied. As um, in a few seconds. Um, here I go pike because I want to take up that tower. And then I trade some food for gold to get steel traps and um, villager hit points in case I get raided. Um, here, here I hit and run, and I still don't get any, but I know a lot of them are low health, so this should be easy. Um, so my pike about to come in, so I'm getting ready to push. And good, solid 10. 10 pike, 3 dots, so I can easily siege anything, except the town center, obviously. Um, here I go and push, and I shoot, and I don't get any garrisons, so I... This is his little army here, so I uh, use my crossbow and let the other siege. Here I kill a villager. Um, so, okay, keep in bow in production. I see he has an army, so I'm getting ready to attack. Um, okay, and I go back to there. Here I ship the, the two villagers, adding more to my economy, because now I know it's, it's crucial. Um, so... That's that. Um, finding hunts, no need outposts, I still have map control, and it's games in my favor, so no need. And here I siege a house. Um, I see he has um, small army, so if, if I pop cap someone, that's just wasting 100 wood and they need. That's not wasting. Um, it's 100 wood that they um, have, have wasted, um, so that's that. And here I go for his military buildings. Usually that's what you want to go first, but if you see um, houses on the outskirts of their base, kill them. And here I just simple micro, um, using my pike to kill the cav, crossbow at the cav. Um, really the cav first. Um, like I said earlier, those are what carry the weapons usually. So, okay, so I, I beat him there, um, keeping up my spam as well as villager production. Uh, right now, the game's in my favorite. Uh, this is usually where... I thought this would have been GG, but no, he had a little more in store for me. Um, so, okay, pushing again. Going for the house now, because I figured um, if I population cap him, then I can't make any men, so okay. And then here, I ship um, 700 wood. Now I'm just gonna, um, you know, I possibly um, think about going into mill. Um, not quite yet, uh, I may be using for another Rax and get uh, triple bow spam. So here I decide um, to go for his uh, barracks and uh, GG, he quits. Um, he couldn't do anything. I had the definitely the economic advantage and here we rematch and um, yes. that's that. Most resources me, uh, most military 69, yeah. Um, villager count, economy starts rolling. Uh, military, you have the advantage the whole game with this rush. You have such an overpowered army. Um, all resources, me. That's typical because the German economy is just really good. So that's that. Um, that was it, guys. Please rate, comment, subscribe, comment your video requests. Thank you.